Hello, thank you for joining me. So this is our video number seven in our series uh, using PhotoView 360 and uh, regard to putting our door together and getting a photo real image of our door. So let's uh, conclude our ser this series by going through some of the options with regard to PhotoView 360. Now they have a pretty good idea what our door is going to look like. Now we have to go through some of the details regarding the photo view 360 and how that image is uh, going to save itself when we uh, get out of this. So uh, let's go to options. When you go to the photo view 360 in the pull down menu, scroll down here to options. Uh, we're going to start from the very top. Uh, we don't necessarily need dynamic help, but if you want to do that, it's that little dialog box that pops up here. When you're going through different options in photo view, if you want to do that, you can check that. You want to create an output image size by going here to custom. And we're going to create a custom size here. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to make the size of the image half as much higher as the width of the image because we want to kind of show the whole door. So the, the size I would recommend would be 800 by 1200. And uh, we're going to go ahead and fix that. As we move down here we want to make sure the image format is going to be JPEG. And you want to define where your image is going to be ultimately saved at. Go to the Browse button. I'm going to go ahead and put that in my folder where, uh, where I want it to be. So it's on my computer, of course, so with a specific uh, file location. I'm not going to show you where that is necessarily, but you can go ahead and uh, make a definition of that uh, yourself. Uh, render quality. Initially, just do good, which is uh, the bottom one, but ultimately you want to do best. Don't want to do maximum. That takes too much time, but I think if you did uh, best, that would be good. So the preview render quality, you could probably keep that at good, and if you like the way that looks, the final render quality, go ahead and do best on that. Gamma, Gamma has a um, uh, tendency, you can look that up on Wikipedia too if you like, but Gamma is uh, kind of a, a balance between colors and uh, illumination in regard to what is really out there, what uh, humans can actually differentiate, and if you look it up on Wikipedia, it's actually a fairly complex uh, thing, but I think the default setting for gamma is 1.6 and uh, I wouldn't recommend changing that if you uh, want to keep that. Bloom and contour rendering and stuff like that, we're just going to stick with the default settings. So that's pretty much it. And then go to green check mark. And when you're all done, when you do photo view 360, you want to do your final rendering of that. And I do need to scoot in on that door and if it doesn't uh, show that, re you know, that uh, new door location, I'm going to go ahead and make an adjustment to it. Uh, I'm going to have to do that to the camera, so I'm going to right click on the camera and uh, actually make a, um, an edit to the camera location. I'll probably move the camera back a little bit, move this dot down, so that way I can get more of the door in there, because uh, the way it was uh, situated uh, was showing a lot more of the top of the door than it was the bottom, and so on and so forth. But when you're all done, when you get done with the photo view 360 and get your final rendering done on it, you want to go ahead and save the file. One thing to note about the PhotoView 360 uh, screen you see here, this is your real quick uh, rendering over here. But here are different rendering uh, formats over here. These are, are the different renderings that, that we've done so far. And uh, through this series of videos, I've probably gone through maybe 20 or 30 of these. But if you click on each one of these, it shows you uh, which one, once it gets done rendering, uh, the, perhaps the previous rendering would be 1, the one prior to that would be 0, and so on and so forth, back to 9, 8, 7, and 6. As you go down to scale here, you can save any of these, or all of these. So what it does is it embeds in the, in the memory of your computer uh, the different renderings of the door as you've been going through your iterative process. So if you like one more than another, after you made some changes, you still don't, uh, it isn't right quite doing what you're doing, but you really like some of the renderings that came before that, you can go ahead and grab those renderings by a simply selecting on these buttons. When you're all done with this, you don't, want to, you don't want to get out of your rendering right now, but this will highlight over here and save image, and it'll save the image and uh, in the location you specifically chose, and uh, you should be ready to go. And that's the image you want to go ahead and send to me. So again, this isn't quite what I was looking for. I'm going to adjust my camera settings one more time and put that on the website and show you what that looks like. And I think that's it. So we will see you later.